Hi, Bill Doherty here uh, to talk about something that we have made kind of invisible in our field. Uh, when we think about couples problems, we tend to think of it either as systemic, and that is it's their interactions between the two of them, or some of us are more intrapsychic oriented and look at their family of origin issues, their trauma, their attachment, and how those are playing out in their couple relationship. And both of those have validity to them. But what we have not paid a lot of attention to is external stressors. Uh, the things that are happening outside of their relationship, often outside of their family, that go on for some period of time. So a very common one is a, a aging parent who uh, one of the spouses, one of the partners, is in a caregiving relationship with. Uh, talk about a chronic stressor, it certainly can go on for years. Um, and so it's not their equal challenge, the, the couple, it's more one person's challenge, and that person gets depleted. The other one might feel that they're neglected in the relationship, and then they have battles, okay? They get into, con they get into conflict with each other because they, they're, they're depleted as a couple, okay? So what I want to say is that our models of therapy can help people maybe express their feelings about this, but there's some other things we have to take into account. And one of them is about boundaries, because if it's, say, um, the uh, spouse one um, and their parent, they have some ethical responsibilities to that parent that the other one doesn't have in the same way, okay? And so the, the supportive spouse then to the caregiver, um, then we have to have them understand that there, this is a different relationship and it's a relationship of responsibility and really ethical responsibility that is important for them to support but not to give up all their needs, okay? Um, and so for the person who has that caregiving responsibility, we want to help them really calibrate how much they can give to their parent given their other responsibilities, including to their spouse. Um, and so for help to kind of discern a balance there, it's about those boundaries. And also for the spouse who is going to be supporting the caregiver to help them figure out, well, what is support? Is it, uh, you know, a back rub? Is it a long conversation? And is the person you're married to capable of giving you that support? Because maybe the person you're married to isn't and really, they don't want to do with a 20 minute conversation about feelings everywhere, right? And so maybe you get some of what you need elsewhere, and then you get some cuddles and hugs and you watch TV together with your spouse. So how to help people maintain some balance in their relationship, given that there is an imbalance occurring in terms of somebody having those caregiving responsibilities. Um, it's really, it's a very interesting way to work. I, I got into this, uh, you know, doing medical family therapy and, and, and lots, of, lots, of, lots of work around external stressors. So my point is there's lots of delicacy here. It's not terribly hard, it's not rocket science as a therapist, but we have to just take our blinders off that it's somebody's intrapsychic issues or it's strictly couple equal, equal interactions. No, there's a third part. It's an external stressor, there are external obligations, it unbalances the couple, and we have to work on boundaries and mutual support given the circumstances that somebody has these external responsibilities. And what I can tell you is it's fun work. It's complicated, it's fun, and people know when you're really helping them. You're not reducing it to somebody's own personal issues, and you're not treating it as if it's strictly between the two of them. So it's an interesting way to work.